boys got it going on. Oh, yeah. Nice got it going on. Nice got it going on. Oh, yeah. Nice got it going on. Oh, yeah. Nice got it going on. Oh no, Steve, 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 trying to ruin the cheerleading party, you know what I'm saying? But we back at it again, you know, on the Maxine Lord journey, BFF, Times, you know, some drama, some love. It's all mixed in there. Let's get it. Girls, we're good, but by God, we could be better. Maxine, you wear your skirt too short. Mm. <laughs> You're distracting boys on both teams. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, Maxine, that is not the name of the game, okay? That's not the name of the game. You're doing too much. I'll let him out. Thank you. Laura, I'm afraid the next time we do the Muskrat Victory Pyramid, you will no longer be allowed on top. Yeah. No, oh, why not? Let's just say you put on a few pounds. Oh, and dang. Personally, I'm concerned about the safety of those of us beneath you. Oh, dang. <laughs> what you, why are you, why are you coming at her? figures here somewhere. Why are you coming at her? Get her, Lord. Don't hold her back. Don't hold her back. Get her, Lord. Let her go. Let her go. Gotta get your work out in. Gotta get your work out in. <laughs> Maxine Todd. Mm -mm, get up, girl. Get up. Again? Why do I have to exercise? Nobody called me fat. Oh. <laughs> Dang, Maxine. You see what I'm saying? No, I see. You you have to honor her her honesty, man. She's honest, man. She may be just like all up in the face, all up right, right here, but she's honest though. Cause you're my best friend, and you're obligated by law to suffer with me. Mm. <laughs> Laura, this obsession with you to lose weight has gotten out of hand. Half a pound? What do I have to do to lose some weight around here? Cut off a stinking foot? <laughs> <laughs> Cut off a foot? Mm. Laura, what are you doing? So I'm gonna take diet pills. Diet pills have stimulants in them. So, mm -hmm. so people get addicted to that stuff. <laughs> Will you relax? I'm just gonna take enough to lose five pounds or so and then I'll stop. Well, this is so crazy. You don't need to lose any weight. Maxine, you heard Monica. I'm too fat for the pyramid. Laura Maxine, she's growing up, she's maturing, and she's recognizing that Laura's putting herself in great danger. I love it. I just think that maybe- Will you drop it? It's not a big deal, okay? Well, if it's not a big deal, then why are you hiding them in your vitamin bottle? I'm not hiding anything. Laura! Hi, hmm? <laughs> hey, Max. Hi, Mrs. Winslow. Sweetheart, can you help me put the grocery away? Yeah, Ma, I'll be right there. Already. Well, I just hope you know what you're doing. But don't worry, Max, I do. She's like, oh, yeah, well, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Look, give me one, too. No, she's not doing that. She's recognizing that there is a possible danger. This is her friend. She's stepping to her. And again, you're just seeing the, the um, can you say the maxeration of Maxine right here, being an awesome friend to Laura. But sometimes, man, like, can't, can't talk to him. Can't talk to him. Mm -mm. Laura, how long have you been taking diet pills? Mm. Well, I just got them. I haven't taken any, I swear. But I was going to take them. Why? Cause I'm fat. She said, "Cause I'm fat." She means the P H A T. You fat. You fly. You all that. Oh. Let's get to what's really important. Mm, yeah. How do you think you look? Mm. I look okay. Just okay. Pretty good, I guess. Man, pretty good. I mean. Pretty good. Right, right, right. All right, you got me, Mom. I'm a baby. Yeah. <laughs> But I love figure skating. Oh, mm -hmm. me too. Especially when it's your figure to skate. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's smooth. That's so sweet. Hey, you want some white chocolate? I got a better way to warm up. Oh. What's that? We know we do. Your lips, girl. Your lips. The lower lips. The lower luscious lips. Uh-huh. Oh, Curtis. What's wrong? Well, my grandmother's coming over to borrow my skis, and I don't want her to catch us kissing. Well, mm. won't we hear when she's coming? Baby, once I start on your lips, I ain't stopping. Mm, I ain't stopping. Girl, ain't nobody blaming you. All right, the rain check. I'll go get the hot chocolate stuff. Our family's flying out to Washington for the funeral. Oh, can't you wait a day? Oh, of course you can. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry. I'm a cold, thoughtless person. No, you're not. Look, you're disappointed, mm -hmm. and I don't blame you. I'm sorry. I'll call you next week. Mm. You, you gonna miss your prom. This is why I like... 
Curtis. You see how Laura was kind of in our emotions, like, because she wanted to go to the prom, but then he couldn't go because of personal reasons. And you see how he just understood, he understood completely, like, no, you're you're disappointed. I, I like Curtis, man. I like Curtis. Yeah. There's got to be some guy who has I have a date. And walks Steve. Check on him, Laura. He's bad. Check on him. Steve, are you okay? <laughs> he needs a shoulder to cry on. He needs a shoulder. Come on, baby. You eat some bad cheese again? Right. Well, I think if it was bad cheese, it would be coming the other way. So, I, yeah, no, just, <laughs> I'm just saying. Now, it's Myra. At the Mr. Prom. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what you thinking, Maxine? What you thinking? What you thinking? What you thinking? <laughs> you know, uh, Laura doesn't have a date for the prom either. Nope. <laughs> I guess this means you guys are going to have to go together. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he hooked him up. She laughing all the way home. You know, they say well, they're going to cry in the car. She's going to laugh all the way home. But she kind of did something sweet here. Maxine thinks it's hilarious. Oh, my gosh. Laura's going to have to go to the prom, you know, with Steve Urkel. But what's so ironic and how God uses things is all this is doing is pushing them right into the purpose. So Cherry Johnson. Cherry liked the fruit. If y'all watched her podcast with, with Kelly. Cherry liked the fruit. Because she actually steals this scene. This whole scene is her. And you got Kelly and Jaleel in this scene. And Cherry, she completely steals this scene. I'm one and only senior Hmm. Why shouldn't we go together? Mm-hmm. Good point. Good point. Wait a point. minute. I just thought of another choice. Oh, what? 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 You could turn into Stefan. I'd love to go with him. Mm. Yeah. Great idea. Mm. Tell you what. I'll hop in the chamber and I'll be back in a chick. I don't, I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's what the Lord wants, though. I don't know. I don't know. Tisha, no. 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 Tisha, no, because the Lord said no. No, not Stefan. Steve. 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 Okay. Go ahead, Steve. Handle it. He don't even go to school. Stefan didn't go to Vanderbilt High for four years. Mm -mm, no education. I did. Yep, that's you. Stefan wasn't captain of the of the chess team. No. What? The president and only member of the cheese club. Mm -mm. <laughs> what does Stefan actually do? We don't know. Night right, right. Exactly. Tonight's my night. Your night. You. Mm hmm. And I'm going to the prom even if I have to go all by my lonesome. My little bit lonesome. Mm hmm. All right. All right, Steve. I like that. I like Steve, that. Steve, wait. I like that big energy there. I'll go with you. Oh. Oh. Oh, there you go, Steve. I want your solemn promise that you won't bump, break, or destroy anything at the prom. <laughs> Lord, Lord, be reasonable here. Okay. Be reasonable here. Okay. He, he's, he has to break something. He's Steve Urkel. What would he be if he didn't break things? I promise. I promise. I'll try. He'll give his best. <laughs> He'll give his best. Come on, let's go pick up that tux. Uh. Yes! yes! I know, Steve. Purpose is happening. Look at Steve and Laura. Steve? <laughs> Everyone gasped. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. You're so beautiful, you take their breath away. Ah, smooth, Steve. It's not imagination, or is your voice lower? Yeah. I think it's because these pants are so loose. Mm -hmm. Now you gotta ask yourself, just being real, we still on the Maxine and Laura, but I mean, Mac, yeah, Maxine and Laura. What's beautiful about this is this is Maxine and Laura right now, right? Ma Maxine was the one, even in the jokety joke, you know, put it out there, but you see it happen. And this is a question I ask. Look at how good they look together. Could she have looked any better with Stefan? And I would probably say no, no. They look, they look good together. That's why everybody's staring. Want to know a secret? Steve, all in his feelings. All in his feelings. Even though I'm going steady with Myra? Yeah. I've always dreamed of going to the prom with you. We know who you really love. <laughs> I know. You asked me when we were six. Six. I always fantasized about what my prom night would be like. Ooh, fantasize. <laughs> Pictured a handsome date dressed in a gorgeous tuxedo. Oh. Then he'd pick me up in a limousine and we'd dance the night away. It'd be the best time of my entire life. That's a nice fantasy. Steve, she talking about you, boy? She talking about you, boy? She talking about you, you, yeah, you. Uh, it's not a fantasy because you made it all come true. There you go. There's only one thing that's keeping this from being a perfect night. Oh, now Laura and her feelings. Well, what's that? <laughs> this. Now Laura up and her feelings. 
Sometimes, look, y'all, man, sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you feel like things are unfair, life is unfair, Maxine walking out, hee hee, ha ha, and everything, but what did it do? Is Steve and Laura all in their feelings because they're, 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 they're experiencing their purpose and their destiny? It's a beautiful thing. You do what? I want to be alone. Mm. <laughs> Hey, I'm gone. Yeah, he want to be alone. He watch your alone. hands. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Big brother, watch your hands. Watch how you doing that. <laughs> oh, a charm bracelet. Oh. Thank you, Curtis. It's beautiful. Then, outside of Steve, he's really the first guy. The Lord really can just be herself. And he loves it. He loves Laura Winslow, right? Not who she has to be. Curtis, it's just he's feeding what he what he says to Laura is just feeding into who she already is. It's I, I really like them. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So are you. Look at him. Merry Christmas, baby. <laughs> Curtis is so smooth. Mrs. Winslow. Don't mention her. I don't care the move. <laughs> <laughs> Know, just exchanging gifts. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're all right. Stefan's in the kitchen. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 well, you got a stone for me. I'll try. Lord. Gosh, Curtis, it was sure great seeing you. Let's look at this. This is hilarious, right? First of all, the reason why Laura's in this situation is because Laura already has feelings for Steve. Right, that she's not really ready to address. She's not really, really ready to deal with. And it's not because ooh, icky Steve. It's because Steve. It's it's either him, marriage and a baby carriage, or it's nothing. Right. So she's not gonna go and play with Steve's heart when she's still kind of trying to figure out what she wants, who she wants, really who she is. Right. She's still, you know, still figuring that out. So now she's kind of in this situation here, you know, where she is dating Stefan, but Curtis keeps popping up with his fine self, and he, and he just treats her so good. Like women, we know it's, it's kind of hard to deal with that. Lord just gotta figure out what she wants. Oh, you are. I'm sorry, I should have stayed home, but I haven't opened your gift to me yet. Child, it's a leather belt. <laughs> Child, it's a leather belt. <laughs> Lord, you can at least let him, you know what I'm saying, open the gift. You just gonna ruin it for him? Oh, my gosh. Hey, baby. Oh, gosh. <laughs> a hug. Yeah, she just gonna give you what, a hug. Amish? Oh, he want more. He want more. He want the lower lips. He want them lower lips right there. He want them lower lips. Uh-huh. <laughs> Y'all, uh, look, let's get some sleep and we'll try again tomorrow. Mm, mm, mm. Thanks a lot, Curtis. We really appreciate your help. I'm glad you called me. It's been too long since I've seen you. Look how beautiful. I mean, I'm trying to figure out where did they find all these men? <laughs> these beautiful men for Laura. Oh, my goodness. I told you, Kelly got to be a woman and still dealing with these guys. And, uh, you look real good. Mm. Thanks. So do you. I've mm. been working out. You better tell him, Lord. You better tell him, Lord. Couple pounds. Mm. Don't get too skinny on me. <laughs> Listen, I ain't leaving. Tomorrow we're gonna find 3J, okay? Okay. And then maybe we can celebrate by having dinner together, okay? Okay. Don't we, don't, I'm just saying, ladies, don't we love men like this to take charge and just bring comfort to a situation? Ugh. And he look good? Yeah, he look good, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you, Lord. I feel you. I feel you. Uh, boy, Kelly had to be a woman to steal. I'm trying to tell you. Was good. That boy can kiss. He looks like it. Oh yeah. Well, I've heard you say the same thing about Stefan. Mmm. Mm. But too, like, why don't? Why do you bring up Stefan? Like Stefan? Like she got Curtis right there handling business. But I do love that Maxine is reminding her because, as we know, you know, Laura at this point is in a relationship with Stefan, but Stefan is, you know, traveling the world being a model. So what you're gonna find out is majority of the time he's never there when Laura needs him. So, but Ma Maxine is trying to remind her of like, okay, I know this boy looking good, he's smelling good, he's kissing good, but you got a man. Don't you think 
Loyalty should have an expiration date. It really should. I kind of agree with you, though. I kind of agree. No. This is a relationship, not yogurt. Mm. We're done. Oh, thanks for all your help, Stefan. Mm. Oh, wait, wait. Where's my reward? Coming right up. Mm. <laughs> Boy, this man, these men be wanting them lower lips, huh? Them lower lips, huh? Mm -hmm. How about a game of hearts? Why bother? You've already won mine. Oh, gosh. Bam! Uh, <laughs> Curtis. Baby, Babe. you look prettier every day. Ooh, Lord, what you gonna do? Um, what you gonna do when Curtis come Curtis, for you? I thought I told you we couldn't see each other anymore. Mm. You can't blame a guy for trying. No, but I can. <laughs> Stefan, Stefan, uh, you beautiful here, okay, and everything, but I don't think you want this Curtis smoke. I really don't. I do not think Stefan can handle Curtis. I just, I, Curtis like look like he about that life. I guess I should have called first. I guess you should. I just came by to pick up my sweater. Sweater? <laughs> oh, uh huh. Well, what, you know, it, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, it's uh, 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 yeah. it's upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get it. Yeah, go get it, Lord. <laughs> go get it. Get yourself out of that situation, girl. You still, Miss Waldo, don't you? Oh. He was my Wally Pop for four years. Waldo. She fell head over heels in love with Waldo, huh? It, it appears. And I guess Waldo, I think he went to like cooking school. And so she all alone. To Maxine in Chicago. The one in the brown building. Oh, gosh. Next door to the Kinko's. Across the street from the subway. The train, not the sandwich. <laughs> Oh, God, that gets me. <laughs> you need to get out more. Right. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready. I mean, if a guy hit on me, I wouldn't even know what to say. You wouldn't have to say a thing. The guy's going to do all the talking. Mm. I don't know. Now, isn't this interesting? Now, remember, right? In their younger years, Maxine, this was kind of Maxine's role, where she kind of knows how to deal with the guys, boom, 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 right? And Laura's kind of... The awkward one. But now the kind of the roles are a little bit more reversed because Laura's, she's kind of grown into herself now, you know, and versus Maxine, you know, she was with Waldo for so long. You know what happens when you're with somebody and either you break up or they move or whatever it is, you, you actually become very vulnerable and you kind of, uh, you lose a little bit of yourself. That's why you got to be careful and who you give yourself to, because you do, whenever that person walks away, they're walking away with a, a, with a part of you. And so now Maxine has to figure out who she is again and what she wants. You know what I'm saying? Are uh, the nail, are <laughs> uh, the fingernail, is that important? Look at yourself. Mm. Girl, you got it going on. You got it going on. You really think so? With your brains, that face, and your figure, huh. you can have any man you want. Huh. Man, that's what I'm talking about. That's some best friend stuff for you right there. I keep saying this. If people will recognize Laura uses very powerful words. Laura knows, and, and sometimes she goofs around. She plays around and stuff like that. But she knows when to use the right words when they're supposed to be used. And I just love how she just did that with Maxine right there. Made her look her in the mirror and spoke straight truth and life over her. I love it. That's right. That's right. Uh-huh. The next time Waldo writes me, he'll have to address it to the Maxine in a big house on the hill mm -hmm. with a handsome husband. Uh, Two kids uh, and a Corvette in the driveway. There you go. <laughs> go, girl. Okay. 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 <laughs> Steve, Laura, the most amazing thing happened to me today at the mall. What? Okay, I walked in the music world to scope out the gangster rap golden oldies. I grabbed a CD and out of nowhere, this gorgeous guy comes up behind me and grabs the same one. Mm. When our hands touched, it was like fucking 4th of July. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh, Max is moving on. She moving on. She look, look, look. She trying to get a husband, her two kids. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Pick the white picket fence. She trying to go back and get that. It was just like you said, Laura. He talked and flirted with me, oh. and somehow I just knew what to say. We spent the whole afternoon together, and tonight he is taking me to the Sizzle Club. Oh, girl, I love it. Mm -hmm. And you know what's so ironic? What? You know the guy. She knows the guy. Yes, isn't that like amazing? 
<laughs> Lord, Lord wanted Max to move on, but I don't know if if, if to curb it. Okay, let's see how let's see how they handle this now. Okay. <laughs> Laura's not feeling it. Laura's not feeling it. Well, don't stand there, Laura. Say something. Laura got that mama look. That's probably what Kelly be looking like. Take that. <laughs> I'm going to say this. Maxine deserved that pie in her face, okay? She deserves the pie in her face. Let me take it back, okay? What are we talking about? We talking about friendship. Lord just gave her a motivational, you know, speech, you know what I'm saying? Got her up, got her believing in herself again. And so the least to me that Maxine could have done was called Laura. And then Maxine has to get Laura's permission because I don't think she does. But you got to run it past her. Hey, just a heads up. I ran into Curtis. Hey, we kind of, you know what I'm saying? We kind of feeling each other. I just want to give you a heads up. How did you do that, Laura? Do what? Ooh, Laura's mad. Laura's mad. But she, oh. This. Laura, you're supposed to, ooh. Ooh. That was like a Giannis LeBron type dunk right there. Oh my God. That Laura. Laura, you can't go out like that. You can't go out like that. She got you. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. She got you though. Would you mind helping me pull the knife out of my back? Ooh. Seen stab me with. When she stole my man. Ooh. 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 She said when she stole my man. Lord, you can't have all the men's. I know they all want you, but you can't have all the men's. You can't have them all. She want all the men's. All the men's. Your man. Mm-hmm. Uh, you broke up with Curtis. Mm-hmm. He's not your man anymore. Yep. Facts. Now, He's my man. He's Max's man. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Lord, suck a pose. Mm -hmm. And the only reason he's seeing you is to get closer to me. Oh, uh -uh. I think Lord's right, Maxine. He wasn't acting like he was on the rebound while he was kissing me. Mm. Uh-oh. Lord, Lord, you remember how that kiss was, huh? You remember how that Curtis kiss was, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he looked good, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, she remembers. You kissed him after one Cinnabon? Mm. Ladies, it, ladies, it must have been good. Ladies, must have been good. Ladies, ladies, calm down. Woo. Oh. <laughs> Laura said you kissed him after one sip. Laura, she saw how you was kissing him. It was like, I want some of that. And she got some of that. That's what it is. Whoa. Mm, 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 mm. He's about to... Something Your corny. beauty is blinding. It, there you go. I mean, it's facts, but still, it's corny. Thank you. So, where to? The Sizzle Club? No way. Curtis and that witch are gonna be there. Ooh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Laura's still upset. Laura's still upset. She got Savannah right there, and she's still upset. I need to talk to Laura. She's not here. <laughs> But you got to ask the question, like, why is Laura so upset? And, I, and like I said, I think it's because Laura is not in love with Stefan. He doesn't bring any substance to Laura's life. And, but he's, he's good to look at, right? He's good to look at. And, and everybody likes Stefan. But I don't think that Laura is actually satisfied or fulfilled with Stefan. Look, I'm warning you, Maxine. I still have a few Boston creams. Oh, she still got some, she still got some pies ready to go. Ready to go. How long have we been best friends? Ooh, a minute. Since third grade. Good minute. That's right. Ever since we both came to school with our Punky Brewster lunchboxes. I remember that, Punky Brewster. Oh, I see what they did there. Punky Brewster. Y'all know that Cherry Johnson was, was on Punky Brewster. Also the best friend to, to Punky Brewster. I just picked up what y'all putting down right there. Okay, Cherry, I see you. And that's too long to let some dumb guy come between us. Hey, hey yo, was that a shot? 
You're cute, baby. But me and Laura, we go way back. Mm -hmm. Max, I'm the one who should be apologizing. I mm -hmm. mean, I was paranoid and jealous, mm -hmm. and selfish and greedy, and, mm -hmm. and feel free to stop me at any time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's no reason to. Stop me. <laughs> Friends forever. <laughs> and again, what do we see? I'm just going to keep saying, what do we see again? Laura being a human being, okay? She kind of messes up and she just comes clean. I'm being selfish. Da, da, da. You, full, full on accountability. Full on accountability. This is why I said, why well, I love Laura, why she's such a phenomenal role model. High character, once again. <laughs> it's not how you okay, mess up, you it's how you make it. You know, I wanted to. Just address, you know, um, you know, Maxine, because I, I thought that was just wrong of Maxine, but it's also wrong of Laura. Like I said, Laura, you, she can't have all the men. She want all the men. You can't have all the men. But I think the way Maxine went about that was not cool. You know what I'm saying? To make it seem like, oh, you know, the guy and, you know, kind of talk up all this stuff and then be like, oh, boom, it's Curtis. You know, I think she should have gave Laura a courtesy call. <laughs> Y'all feel me on that? Should have gave Laura a courtesy call before she went and did all that. Again, like I said in the video, does she need to get Laura's approval? No. Does she need to get Laura's um, um uh, you know, you know, does Laura, does Laura need to say, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can date him. Like she owns him. No, but I think she should have gave him a heads up because Maxine knows that, you know, Laura just recently broke up with, you know, Curtis. So it's a little messy, but we all, we all mix up. We all mess up. You saw the support that they had where Laura got down, um, you know, cause she was trying to take the diet pills cause she didn't know, you know, she wasn't recognized her value. But then you saw the same thing with Maxine where Maxine was having some issues because Waldo wasn't there anymore and Laura picked her up. And that's kind of what you see. They get down, they fight, they fuss. But they, you know, it always ends up working out in the end. I'm just FYI for some of y'all be like, Laura, she, she on her cheat code. She cheating. Well, she is a cheat code because I mean the beauty and then just everything is she a cheat code. The only time you can cheat is in marriage, right? I understand the culture now. They doing every, all of that stuff in marriage, right? They doing the cheating and getting the extra people doing all the other type of stuff, right? Uh, what did Will and Jada say? Uh, bad marriage for life. That's not God's will. Okay. You know, um, so, but you can only cheat in marriage. Other than if you're if you're not married, uh, according to the Bible, you're single. And if you're single, lo like Laura is, you can kiss Stefan, you can kiss Steve, you can kiss whoever whoever it is. Just want to give you a godly perspective on that for people to be like, oh well, you know, Laura was cheating. No, she's not. She is not committed to any of these guys. None of them put a ring on it. Or you know what I'm saying? She's not married to any of these guys. So she she's really 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 and truly Laura's doing what you should do. She really is doing what you should do. She's kind of figuring things out. Like, okay, I like Curtis. He becoming real smooth. He, he looks, smell good. He kiss good, you know, but then Stefan is like, man, he's kind of been like my dream guy for years, but the sparks are steadily kind of going down. And then my, I, I, this, this, this love that I have for Steve, I don't know why that's there. I don't even want to deal with that. Right. And this is what you're free to do this. Laura's not wrong in doing this. Dating is dating and marriage is marriage. And the only time that According to the Bible, right? As, when you are actually in a place of sinning or committing that adultery, what they talk about is only in marriage. Now, don't do that in, in marriage, but it's it's only in marriage. Other than that, the Bible calls you single, single, ready to mingle. You know, single, ready to mingle. That doesn't mean you go in and, and, you know what I'm saying, be getting over on people and lying and doing all that. But I'm just saying, you know, that the cheating only occurs within marriage, man. But yeah, man, love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you.